Um, it was it was uh, good in parts. I thought defensively uh, we had a much better. It's the first time with full scrimmage. You know, we've had some situational work and had a little a uh, little bit of a half scrimmage. Um, uh, whatever last whatever Saturday I think and uh, but but still controlled um, and I, I thought defensively they just had a really good energy today and I, I thought they won the day um, uh, good to see some guys just just with a little different mindset than what I've seen in some of the past competitive situations uh, so that was very encouraging the flip side of it offensively uh, I just didn't think they had great energy today I think some of them were already at Cabo uh, or Cancun or whatever cruise boat they're going on. I think I think that was kind of the mindset of the offensive guys today. Sloppy, uh, bad snaps, drops, fumbles, missed throws, uh, penalties. Just a sloppy day offensively, um, which which is, is not indicative of how they've practiced. They've had it's been a really good. Uh, eight days leading up till today. But today I thought offensively they were way below average. And uh, so, and, and give the defense some credit for that. I thought they, like I said, their energy, uh, the offense didn't match it. It wasn't near as competitive as, I, as, as it should have been. Outside of, I thought the offense won the day on short yardage and they won the day in the red zone. Uh, but, but overall, just nowhere near what, what we've got to be able to do or what we're capable doing and what we've done, um, you know, really most of the spring. So just a just a very, very average day on offense. And then uh, we're not very consistent kicking field goals right now. You know, we're, we're, we're just way too inconsistent. Uh, you know, we can't be a 50% free throw shooter. we got to be a whole lot better than that. So uh, just still a work in progress in a lot of areas. And, and again, it's amazing when you get in the stadium, how all of a sudden things can change a little bit. Uh, it's just a different deal when you get over here and uh, kind of get out of, get out of everybody's way. But, uh, but there were a lot of good things, uh, on, on some good things individually on both sides. But uh, we looked like a, a, a pretty sloppy football team today. What about individually? Who, who, who stood out on defense? Uh, you know, I th well, I thought, first of all, we worked DK over there today. Uh, we, got, we got a bunch of corners down. And, and uh, we usually always take somebody and try to Cross train them and and, uh, and 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 get them ready. And uh, man, he's done a great job. We just worked him over there Monday, and then today he got the scrimmage work and did a great job. Had to, had to, had a, a big interception and, and uh, just competed, you know, and uh, did a really nice job. Uh, AJ had an interception. Uh, the biggest thing to me was watching our guys inside compete better. Uh, Rook, uh, 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 Et, Darnell. Uh, Tyler Davis, just Xavier Kelly, just seeing that group compete better. Uh, you know, we, we've just just doing just look. They just looked more functional today. Uh, so I was just really encouraged with, with what I saw. KJ Henry uh, made some nice plays. I thought Skowski stood out. Uh, he was a guy. Shaq made some really good plays. He's he's uh, really uh, made some improvement in, in taking advantage of his opportunity. And then. Uh, there were some positive on the offensive side too. You know, uh, Lynn Jay continues to to splash. I thought Feaster ran the ball well, um, and uh, I thought uh, I thought Chase uh, made a couple of nice plays. But but overall, uh, not a lot of highlights uh, on the offensive side. Is the plan for DK to kind of wrap that corner the rest of the spring? Or what's uh, we'll see. You know, we, you know, Mario's out. Anthony's out. Dawkins is out. Kyler just came back today, so we've been we just been down a lot of guys, and uh, you know, so hopefully we'll get all those guys back after spring, and, and then we've just got we got more depth offensively, so it's just kind of giving us a nice luxury to really work him and just see how he does. So uh, you know, who knows? Anything could happen down the road, but but he's he's really special with the ball in his hands. <laughs> he's special, um, but and Amari was out. And he's back, and so that that allowed us to to be able to use because we got we got a bunch of wideouts uh, that uh, that can we can move around and do some stuff, and we just didn't have many bodies at corner. Although Denzel got a lot of work at corner too and did a nice job. He's another guy that's had a really good spring, uh, and we we've, we've cross trained him uh, quite a bit. But uh, you know he's a DK is an interesting he's just an interesting guy. And but what I love about him is he don't care what he plays. 
He'll play quarterback. He'll play corner. He'll play linebacker. He'll play tailback. He just loves to play. And that's, that's what I love about that guy. Uh, he, is a, he is a relentless competitor. And uh, it's been neat. It's been neat to see him. Uh, and I, I didn't really know what to expect today. Uh, but it didn't take long for him to see him. He tackled and he didn't tackle anybody in over a year. And right out of the gate, he gets off a block and makes a tackle for about a one-yard gain. And he's just a natural football player. And that's, that's what makes him special. But, um, you know, it gets, it's definitely an option for us depending on our depth and how things unfold at wide out and so forth. But regardless, uh, he, he'll be a guy, no matter what, that I could see working some on both sides, you know, the rest of his career. Uh, regardless of what ends up being his, his so-called home, uh, you know, right now he's, his home is wide out and we're training him up at DB. If that changes down the road, who knows? He's, he'd still be a guy that would be in the mix. Uh, he's just too talented. Uh, of a guy to not take advantage of his skill set. What about tight end group? How's it developing? Uh, just okay. Uh, JC has actually made some really good strides. Uh, he had, I thought, had a good day the other day. Uh, had a nice short yardage play for us, and he's he's he and Braden are the most consistent as far as just mentally uh, where they are. Um, you know, Braden Braden is, his, you know, he had a he had a big drop out here today where. He's